I remember the first time I saw Vashi frames on Twitter. I just loved the concept of displaying a deck with every single shot in a movie. You can see color patterns, you can see how often the close-ups are being used. And most of all, it just looks awesome. So yeah, today I'll show you how I created the shot deck for Parasite or the beta test. And actually I'm gonna have some fun with this process. For the next 28 days, I'll be posting a shot deck for a film each day both on Twitter and Instagram. Let's do it. You have to have a film as a file on your disk. For me, I first buy a film and then use OBS to screen record it. You cannot share such a file with anyone. I'm against piracy, so I just want it to be loud and clear. Okay, let's get to the business. So all we have to do now is run the scene edit detection feature. So we could right click and choose that option. Or in my case, I will just select a clip and run a shortcut on it. So here is the window, let me just refocus. Okay, here we go. And over here it's most important to have the first checkbox selected. So all you have to do now is click analyze and have a break. Oh, and I actually wanted to see how much time it will take to analyze the whole movie. Parasite is two hours long, so yeah, we'll see. Okay, it was 15 minutes, 15, 16, something like that. So one eighth of the running time, pretty good. I'm pretty impressed, I must say. A resolve would be faster, but its algorithm is a little bit different. They both have, you know, advantages and disadvantages like everything in life. I will watch the film. You don't have to do it, but in my case, I want to be certain that I have detected all of the cut points. And if there are any places where a cut hasn't been detected, I will add it manually. Oh, damn it. I just realized I was out of focus. Sorry for that. <laughs> so for reference, for the beta test, a feature film directed by Gene Khan and PJ McCabe, I actually had to add two extra cut points and one more at the point where cross dissolve has been used. So you know, it's not the big deal, but at the same time, there would have been three shots missing from that shot deck if I wouldn't rewatch the film once again. Before you export the frames, remove the titles, the credits, all of the stuff that is not the actual movie. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how to fully automate the next step, that is exporting still frames. I'll show you how I do it at this moment, but if you have a better idea, let me know in the comments. So I created a macro that will work with my monogram console. It moves the playhead to the next edit point, exports a still frame and moves to the next one. I've set it up in a way that one press of a button will actually export five frames. So if a given film has 1000 frames, I will have to press the button 200 times. I know it sounds scary, but at the same time, you know, it's just pressing one button, so it's not complicated. I guess it will be like two minutes for a feature film. Something like that. Again, not a big deal. Just a note, I'm exporting the first frame in a given shot. But you could go one step further and actually export the frame that gives us the best representation of the shot. In such a case, I would actually add a marker at this point and later use Excalibur plugin to export all of the frames at markers. That's an amazing plugin and this command saves us a lot of time. So if scene edit detection would have the option to add markers at edit points, but timeline markers instead of clip markers, we could actually automate this exporting process. Awesome, we have all of the frames exported, separate on a disk and we can do magic with them now. This is also a fun part because we're not gonna just drag and drop these pieces of a puzzle in Photoshop. No, 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 we're not gonna do it. We're not crazy, I'm not insane. Okay, I'm not insane. We're gonna use an automatic feature in Photoshop that will do all the hard work for us. But first you have to do some calculations, which could be a bad news, but also for me, it's a good one because I love math. Yeah, I do. Whenever I get a chance to calculate something as an editor, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Now check how many individual shots you have. Check the duration of the film. And having those two, you can actually calculate ASD, average shot duration, which is a completely useless metric, but you can compare it to other directors. And I don't know, just, I think it's fun, <laughs> even though it's useless. Like, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it, it could mean that, like, you know, some directors have tendency to cut things faster than the others. So I guess that's what it indicates. That's what we do it for. Instead, we go to File, Automate, Contact Sheet. We have to do some maths once again. Save the settings to have a better starting point in the future. Now, you could take it even one step further. It could be a poster you hang on your office wall. Damn, that looks really cool. So, the next 28 days, the next 28 movies. Follow on Twitter or Instagram, and as we say around here, until the next time, shoot and edit like there is no tomorrow.